Today I'm going to be showing you how to swap a new finger into a finger module. So say we have to replace these fingers due to wear and put a new one in, we'll be able to take this finger out of the entire module piece and put a new one in there. So there's two types of finger modules. There is a food safe, which is this here on the left, and there is an industrial, which is here on the right. The two differences being the O-ring type, so this is silicone and this is NBR, and then also the screws that hold everything together. So the industrial version has a 2.5 millimeter Allen key hex, and then the food safe version has a raised six millimeter hex nut on top. So for the purpose of this demonstration, I'm going to be showing you the food safe version, but there's identical in how to replace them. It's just the tool that you need to remove these screws. So what you will need is a torque wrench. So a torque wrench that is set to 160 Newton centimeters. This is not critical for removing these screws, but will be critical for when you place them back on. So I'm just going to go ahead and get started by removing these. careful not to lose the screws and I'll take this uh, this white Delrin piece and it will slide right out. So I'm going to place that down on the table for later. This o-ring may pop out, that's fine. Inspect it, make sure there's no cracks or damages and then just place it down for later. So now you'll have the finger and this metal bezel piece. So what you're going to do is you can actually just pinch and pull off that metal bezel piece so they come apart. If this finger is damaged beyond use, then you can just throw it away. So now for putting in your new finger, uh, you'll notice that there is a flat top edge and then there is a curved bottom edge and there is a matching kind of flat edge and curved bottom edge on the bezel. So line those up together and you can just kind of pinch one side together and force it in there. Uh, the fingers are very flexible, very durable, so you can kind of just pinch and jam it into uh, the opening on the bezel. All of the fingers, no matter the length, will have this same interface with the one exception of the mini finger. Uh, so this is a two accordion that is a narrower profile. So you'll notice that that uh, interface is about half the width and that would use a different bezel and Delrin piece as well. But for the sake of this, we're using just the same width, same number of accordion fingers. So now I'm going to grab my Delrin piece and again you'll notice the slot here has a flat edge and then a curved edge. Again we're just going to make sure that that lines up with the appropriate kind of slot on the bezel and the finger. So now I'm going to take these screws and just lightly hand thread them, not too tight but just enough so that it holds everything together in one piece. I still want there to be a gap here because remember I have to put my o-ring in there. So once I've got this together, so that there's still somewhat of a gap there, uh, but there, it is all held together in one piece, I can take my O-ring and just place it over the finger like this. And then I can stretch it around so that the O-ring fits in that slot. Uh, make sure that it doesn't slip too far in, uh, but that it does sit inside that slot. And then I can just go and kind of tighten those screws down again so it's all one piece. Now I'll take my torque wrench, and again, I can torque this down to the appropriate value. And there we have it. That's how you replace a finger on a finger module.